Henry is uh, pretty much the light of the world for us. Initially, Henry didn't really display any large red flags to us. It was little signals. Walked a little later, talked a little later. It wasn't that he didn't do those things, he just did those later. As a parent of two kids, um, the first one, those are your milestones. You remember every time the child walked or talked. So if the first one walked at nine months, he better walk at nine months. And that was a little delayed with Henry. And the pediatrician said, well, he's got global delays and we'll do a blood test. And with that blood test was the worst news we could get as a parent. Henry was diagnosed on August 8th, 2011. Everything we thought we knew changed on that day. Henry's starting to realize that this diagnosis is keeping him from doing the things he wants to do and his peers. Is it sometimes hard to like keep up on the playground? It feels like you're being like left out. Sometimes it makes me frustrated knowing that um, we can't just go outside and play. It's okay. Because of his disease, he doesn't really like moving around a lot, so it's good for us just to sit and talk sometimes. It was a, a gut-wrenching moment for my family, my wife and I. We both realized after crying for about six months, it's not gonna stop us. We're gonna pull ourselves up. We're gonna find everything positive and go forward. Henry's extremely positive, and that rubs off on the entire family. He loves to figure things out. He'll build Legos by the hour. I don't care what Lego set there is, he can build it. Why do you like Legos so much? Because the can build anything. Henry is very passionate about art and drawing, um, loves animation. His current goal is to be a animator for Pixar films. I love that he's very always cheerful and has a very optimistic outlook on things. He's an amazing, joyful person. He can do anything he puts his mind to. We learned early on that we didn't want to live under a cloud and under a shadow. And we wanted to raise our family with hope and optimism. And we celebrate every moment we get. That's been the biggest thing with Duchenne. It's, we don't put it off till tomorrow. We don't put it off till next year. We try to find a way to do it now. The Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts have been a huge influence, and it's something that they find a way to adapt so that Henry can be involved and can join and can have fun. The silver lining in this diagnosis for us was to appreciate each and every day and to make a memory. We're all very positive about it because there's actually steps being made. Uh, 30 years ago, if your son got the diagnosis of Duchenne, it was, go love him, he's not gonna live. Now it's, there's hope. It's like looking at an hourglass and it makes it so much more time sensitive and crucial to get awareness for Duchenne and to raise funds for Duchenne to get research funded and to get, get these treatments, and not just a treatment, we need an actual cure. For Henry and all the boys, it's a race against the clock. And the sooner we get it, the sooner we can save not just Henry, not just the young boys, but the older boys and all the future generations there are to come.